Hey guys, Ryan the Nerd here, and if you can clearly see in front of you, we're doing a goddamn Pixar tier list. Let's go. Now, you're if you're wondering to yourself, or you're asking to yourself, or you're probably commenting right now, if you're, if you're doing any of those things, you're probably saying to yourself, why am I doing a Pixar tier list or just a tier list in general when I've never done one on a channel on this channel before? Well, you have all probably seen those videos of people ranking Pixar movies with the tier list stuff and all that good jam and whatever. But most people would probably agree with some of the, the choices or the rankings of some Pixar movies, but some would probably disagree strongly or disagree somewhat. But... This tier list is the one that you need to watch, alright? Because this is the definitive and right way to rank Pixar movies. Now, I'm going to rank each Pixar movie in these tiers right here. We got Beyond This Universe tier. We got Fantastic, alright? Not good, but enjoyable. And Cars 3. So, this is the right way to rank Pixar movies. So, if you're wondering to yourself, is there even a right way to rank Pixar movies? Yes, there is. You're watching it right now. And if you're wondering to yourself, why am I recording this on my phone? Because this is the type of channel that we are. We, we don't have budgets on this channel, all right? So, so the first thing that we're going to do right here is Up. Now, Up is going to go in fantastic. Up is one of those movies that has those really weird like choices in the movie, but it doesn't seem out of place at all. Really heartfelt, really emotional, great comedy, great characters, just an overall fantastic movie. Now, the reason why it's not beyond this universe is because, yeah, <laughs> but I think that we can all agree that Up is one of Pixar's greatest movies. Toy Story. Now, most people would probably put it in either Fantastic tier or Beyond This Universe. Personally, for me, it's going to go in Fantastic. Now, the reason why it's not going in the Beyond This Universe tier, because most people would assume that it would go in the Beyond This Universe tier, because it is like the very first Pixar movie to ever come out, and it's like the first computer-generated animated film ever. So it was a very um, outstanding achievement, what they did. But the reason why I put it in Fantastic here was because... They, it wasn't up to what Pixar could do at the time. After Toy Story, they released some absolute bangers. But Toy Story is not bad. It's not a bad movie at all. There's some really great techniques, and it's I, I can't be too harsh on it. It is the very first one. So that's why it's going uh, behind up here. Monsters University, most people would probably put it and like not good but enjoyable or just complete trash in general but personally for me monsters university is going to go in all right i really do like some of the stuff that they introduced in monsters university it really builds on the world building of the very first movie um and also solly and mike it's also really great to see how they hated each other in the very beginning um because it's a really unique dynamic because we all know that mike and solly love each other um and you know they're just really great friends and all that and they have a really great dynamic with each other but when you watch monsters university they just hated each other and stuff and they really want to get underneath each other's throats but once they work together and you find out that they actually do care about each other and they're actually best friends then you realize that it's not that terrible of a movie you've got really great side characters as well i really do like the side characters the animation is also really great um, and I also really do like the message that they actually introduced in that movie. Um, now, you're, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go rewatch Monsters University. It really has a really deep message that you wouldn't expect from, you know, a Monsters, a Monsters University in general by looking at the promotional image or just even some of the trailers and stuff like that. You wouldn't really get that message if you actually watch and you actually dig deep into the movie. That's a little reference to the actual movie. <laughs> if you if you know what if you know, you know. Um Finding Dory, I would put it in not good, but enjoyable. There is some good stuff in this movie. Um, the animation is actually way above and beyond than the first one. Um, Hank is honestly just the best character. He's honestly just a mood in general. Um, really great, some emotional beats as well. But it's nowhere near as, the, as Finding Nemo. And speaking of Finding Nemo, Finding Nemo is going to go and be on this universe. From the start, middle, and end, it is a perfect movie all the way through. 
best characters, best protagonists, best side characters in a movie I've ever seen. I just generally care about it, and it's so emotional, it gets me every time the ending makes me teary-eye every time. It's just a great movie, and I love it. And Cars 2, I would, it's not going in Cars 3, I would put it in Not Good by Enjoyable. I only put it in this, in this tier right here, probably because I only like it because as a meme. I only like it as a joke. I, I don't like it unironically. I like it ironically. It's just, I, it's just, it's so goofy, but I, I can admit that it's not great. It, it could be way better, 10 times better even, but I'm just going to put it in not good by enjoyable because I like it ironically. The Incredibles, great concept for a movie beyond this universe tier. Now, I could really relate to this movie. The the family dynamic of the Parr family is really relatable to me with my family. I really do like it, especially Mr. Incredible. He's literally like my dad, and I'm not even saying that just be, because, yeah, but I'm actually just saying that. Um, and it has a really great... Um, has a really great uh, story behind it as well, and very deep and very emotional than you would think from looking at, you know, the poster or even some of the trailers. It's actually a really deep movie if you really dig deep. Haha, <laughs> bring that back again. Ratatouille. This, we all know, is going in beyond this universe. Remy, best protagonist, probably because he's a dick. He's an absolute dick, and I love him. For that um really great message as well um anton ego's you know quote near the end of the movie i i love that quote so much i i i've done so many like you know projects with that quote because i just love it so much um school projects that is so that's why it's gonna go in beyond this universe and just and every single time when i watch that movie i just get hungry now the good dinosaur before i rank it can we just talk about this promotional image what the hell is even that? I, I've never seen that poster before in my life. It literally looks like a Chinese bootleg of the good dinosaur. I, I have no idea what it is. It's probably Spot. Arlo's face is way too long, and I just don't like it. Um, but the good dinosaur, however, I'm going to... Nope, not going in fantastic. It's going to go not good, but enjoyable. Um, there is some pretty good things in this, really great animation as always, um, you know, you, the Arlo can be annoying at some times, but you can get the message, Spot is honestly the best character in that entire movie, um, Thunderclap, really great villain as well, even though that some people don't really like him, but I personally really like Thunderclap, Cars, we're gonna put him in Fantastic here, I would, I would put it, in, uh, in front of the the first Toy Story here. Uh, it's a really great movie. Um, just like Ratatouille, um, um, Lightning McQueen is an absolute dick, but I kind of like it. Um, Doug Hudson is honestly the best character in the entire movie. Um, great side characters and just great score in general. I love it. Uh, just really great. Um, and just it's just a fantastic movie, and I grew up with it, and it's just so good. And Cars 3... The reason why I'm putting it in Cars 3 is because I've never seen it. So that's why I just have Cars 3 there. Bugs Life. I'm going to put it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put it in front of Toy Story. Um, now, the toy um, Bugs Life. Really great side characters. I love all the side characters in it. Uh, really great um, score as well. Um, and Hopper is one of the most intimidating villains ever. I, I, I love Hopper. Um, Flick is honestly probably one of the best um, Pixar protagonists ever. He, he's so great, um, and just really great animation, um, and very heartfelt, and I really do like it. It's just an enjoyable, enjoyable movie. Uh, The Incredibles 2. Why is my screen doing that? Uh, The Incredibles 2 here. I would honestly put it in all right. It's not near as good as Monsters, uh, Monsters University here, uh, but the reason why I put it in all right and non-fantastic because it is a pretty good sequel. Now, most people would probably put it, if I had it here, in the trash tier list, the absolute garbage, um, or just in the all right tier. But the reason why I put it in the all right tier is because 
Because I'm pretty sure that people had a really high expectation of Brad Bird when he announced that he was, you know, creating um, the, the, the sequel to the hit film, The Incredibles. So I guess that made people a lot more um, uh, really um, have high expectations when they saw the movie. But when they saw it, they were kind of disappointed by that. Me, I knew that it wasn't going to be as good as the second one, uh, as the first one, but it is a all right sequel. There's some enjoyable move, um, uh, moments in that movie as well. Great animation as always. Now, Wally. Whew. If you know me personally, you know that Wally is going to go in front of Finding Nemo and in the Beyond This Universe tier. Get it? Because it's it's universe <laughs> in its space. Yeah, just a really great movie. Great love story. Great environmental message. Makes me tear up every single time. Wally is the most relatable character because he is so much like me, and I love it. It's just amazing. I love it all around. Monsters, Inc. Also going to go in the Beyond This Universe tier. It's going to go be, uh, in front of... Of Ratatouille here. Mike and Sully. Best Pixar protagonists ever. He's They might as well be number one. On the protagonist tier, um, tier right here. I might actually do that one day. Who knows. I mean we are starting a tier list video right now. So who knows. But yeah. It's a really great world building movie. Very heartfelt. Randall honestly the best Pixar movie villain ever. Uh, Steve Buscemi did an amazing job voicing him. Um, and it's just a really great movie. And I just, and I just love it. I, I love it. Inside Out, I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it, um, yeah, I'm going to put it behind Toy Story. Uh, it's very heartfelt, um, but it is not as near as good as Toy Story or even up for that standard. Um, and you don't really get to know much of the side characters besides joy and um, sadness. Uh, but it's very heartfelt and you get you, there's some really deep messages in that film. So I got to give it props for that. Coco. Oh, that's Toy Story 2. Coco. Ooh. Coco is going to go in front of cars here. It's going to go right next to up. Uh, very, very heartfelt message as always. The ending scene. Gets me every single time, and I love it. Just a really unique movie, as always, and very, um, uh, I, I, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, the villain, however, um, it's, it's not that great, uh, but a very good twist, though, surrounding the villain. The twist is also very nice. I really do like that. Toy Story 3, just a really great jailbreak movie. I really do like it. Um, it's going to go... It's going to go right next to Toy Story, uh, the first Toy Story. Lotso is going to be one of my uh, all-time favorite Pixar movie villains, uh, even though that I didn't even mention him in my Pixar movie uh, villain list. Um, so, uh, yeah, he's, just, he's a really great villain um, in the um, incinerating scene. Also, we, we, it was pretty heartfelt as well, and it's just a really great movie as well. Very enjoyable. And Toy Story 2. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's gonna go. It's gonna go right next. It's gonna be in front. Oh no, no, no. And it's gonna go right here. It's gonna go right next beside Monsters Inc. It's it's just a great sequel. Great sequel all around. Everything about this movie is just a great sequel. That's what you do with sequels, my friends. Learn from Toy Story 2. That's all I'll say. Brave, most people would put it in, you know, the absolute garbage here. But I would argue that it's going to go in the all right tier. Now, the reason why I'm putting Brave in the all right tier is because unlike not good but enjoyable, I honestly can sit through this and not be bored at all. Merida is one of the, yet again, one of, it's not the best uh, protagonist, but she is one of the greatest uh, Pixar protagonists out there. Um, really great story as well. Very relatable to, you know, uh, well, that's why my mom lo likes it so much. It's more relatable to her and my sister. But I can sit through it and I can watch it um, uh, again and again. And this is a really great scene. Uh, just a really great movie as well. But it's not in the Fantastic tier or the Beyond This Universe. Um, but I wouldn't put it near the Finding Dory or Cars 2 level. Onward. Now, onward here, it's going to go right in the fantastic tier 
it's going to go right in front of it's going to go right in front of Toy Story 3 here because when I first watched Onward, I thought it was really great. Um, yet again, one of the best protagonist dynamics ever with Barley and... Oh, God, I forgot his name. Oh, uh, I'm, it's, it's probably going to come back to me um, once I rewatch it. But it's, it's a very unique premise and it's very emotional. Uh, the ending scene gets me every time as well. Because classic Pixar stand, uh, fashion. But the reason why I put in Fantastic... If, if I was doing this like two years after Onward came out... Um, I would honestly put it in the old right tier. Um, but I would put it in Fantastic because of the uh, the Pixar um, series on Disney Plus... Where they, you know, they go through uh, the step-by-step -step process of Pixar movies... And like some of the behind-the-scenes and stuff like that. Um, the, 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 direct, the director of the movie... Uh, gave a um, a story about how he came up with the premise of Onward, and I gotta say, it, it hit me right in the feels. So that's why I have mad respect for that movie. So if anybody puts it in like you know not good but enjoyable or all right, you're wrong because this is the right way to make Pixar movies. So it's it's going in the fantastic tier, and nobody can stop it. Um, Soul, yet again, pretty fantastic. I would put it, I would put it in front of. Uh, inside out uh, also really deep messaging as well um, and it's it's just a really great movie as well the comedy is a little bit subpar but other than that I'm putting in this mostly for the message um, and the characters are also pretty enjoyable the world building um, in the soul world is also really nice I really do like the 2d animation of like the I wouldn't say angels but um, the the I, I don't even know what they're called but yeah you know what I'm talking about if you've seen the movie but yeah, it's going to go in fantastic. Toy Story 4, um, I'm going to put it in not good but enjoyable. Um, I'm going to put it behind the good dinosaur. Um, uh, the ending is also kind of good as well. It's not as great as uh, uh, these other movies up here. But I would. it's just going to go in the not good but enjoyable tier. Um, so it's, it's a pretty good ending, I would say. But the rest of the movie, is uh, it's all right. Luca, I'm going to put it. In, uh, I would put it in, f uh, yeah, I would put it right there, uh, right in front of Brave there. Uh, really great messaging as well, as always. Um, the animation is absolutely gorgeous. Um, the character, the side character is a little bit bland. Um, you know, actually, I would say most of the characters are pretty bland, except for the dad, I guess. Uh, the the, the one armed dad. He's he's a pretty cool character. The 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 villain in that. Oh my god, is the most. I I I don't like it. So that's why it's gonna go in the all the right tier right here. Turning red. If you've seen my turning red review, you would know that I would put it in the fantastic tier right here. I would put it right in front. I would put it in front of Soul. Um. So I don't want to go too in depth on my opinion about it. Um, but you can go watch that, my review of it, if you really want to know my full in-depth opinion about it. Lightyear, you can also check out my review of it. But other than my review, I would say that my review is also kind of outdated, mostly because of the con section. I said in that video that there wasn't much cons in there, uh, in the movie, but looking back on it, I, I can, I can say with confidence that, uh, I would put it in the all right. I would honestly put it, uh, I would put it right there. Um, it, it's, some of the cons on there are pretty noticeable, uh, rewatching it or just looking back on it. Uh, the twist was pretty, was like pretty surprising, but it wasn't a good twist as well. Um, but yeah, I, I would say that that's where it belongs. All right, guys. So this is the right way that you should rank Pixar movies. This is the definitive way Pixar movies should be ranked. Um, and everybody can totally agree on this tier list and nobody has to disagree and nobody has to make you know, argument videos about this, but, but this is the right way Pixar movies are ranked, um, this is how you should all look at Pixar movies, and there's no, uh, wrong way to look, uh, there's no right way to look at this, uh, it's, it's all, this is all right, this is all right, nothing's wrong here, uh, so, that's gonna do it for my first tier list video, I will be doing more in the future, so stay tuned for that, but yeah, that's going to do it for me, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this Pixar ranking video here the right way, I might add. 
but that's gonna be do it for me guys so i really hope you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe i don't care what you do but you guys know what time it is so bye guys